are there psychosomatic interventions? Absolutely, yes. You know, one of the things that, 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 that I talk about um, in a in, in number of lectures is how psychology is really, to a great extent, neglected everything that is neck down. That it really focuses on the cognitive, on, on thought processes, on the mind, which is important, of course. And yet we shouldn't, need not, um, ignore the body because mind and body are one. And we know, I'll give you just one, you know, one of the studies that we talk about, which, which, which is quite literally mind boggling. You know that most back aches, not all, but most back aches are a result of suppressed emotion. So you see the connection between mind and body. You suppress the emotion. You don't let it flow through you, whether it's anxiety or sadness or fear or envy. You don't let it flow through you and it comes out somehow, very often in your lower back. Another example showing the mind-body connection, physical exercise. Regular physical exercise has the same effect on our psychological well-being as our most powerful psychiatric medication. Working in the same way, releasing norepinephrine, serotonin, dopamine, feel-good chemicals in the brain through exercise. So knowing, and again, these are just two, two of dozens of studies and dozens of interventions that show the connection between mind and body that, 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 that contribute to uh, the psychosomatic approach to, to treating people. So yes, you will learn a lot that you'll be able to apply as a therapist in, uh, in, in the program.